Shalom, shalom Israel. First of all, once to call Allah, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Yahweh Kodash. The bonus to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers in the highways and the byways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. <coughs> now we say, call Allah, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, which means our praises be unto the heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, in the name of his Son, Yahweh Shai. You know the word you can really call um, God and Jehovah. You know, the Father and the Son, who they you know, they call Jesus, Yahshua, so on and so forth. Those are their names in the Hebrew, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Now, we are the Hebrew Israelites, so the scriptures speak up. The so called Latinos, Hispanics, Native American Indians, um, and you so called Negroes. You know, we are from the. We, are, we, are, we make up the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Right? And we do lessons like these for the potential elect. You know, because two thirds of our people are going to still be two thirds, man, right? You know, they might go hold fast to these religions, Christianity, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? And they're going to die in their beliefs, you know, which, you know, they were preordained or predestined to do so. See, so whenever we do these lessons, it's for the potential elect, waking up for the potential elect, man, because that's what it's all about, man, getting the, the, the big rebuilding, you know, we're in the building process. Of the, of the house of David, man, right? We're building that, that spiritual arc, you know? So, this lesson is based upon the fact that, look, in the times where we're heading, because we're heading to some serious times, there's a third world war brewing, all right? See, there is um, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast written in Revelation 13, verse 16, and you know what I mean? And you have sedition among men, you have famine, you have great destruction, all right? And we see... The climate and even the normal people can see, know that, look, we're, we're, we're heading into some very serious times, man. All right? See? So what we're going to do in these times when um, uh, the Lord um, basically about to make him an appearance, you know? What are we going to do? Are we going to be found... You know, um, locking. Are we going to be found without fear? Because in, in those times, we're going to need a protector, man. All right? We're going to need Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's the only name where mankind can be saved. Right? The, the Israelites, I should say, can be saved through. And no other name, man. All right? Um, <clears throat> so this, this, this lesson basically is based upon for the fact that, look, your own mind cannot save you, all right? Your own thoughts and you of yourself can't even save yourself. The thoughts were manifesting in your mind is not even yours to begin with, all right? So, you know, we're going to need that, um, we're going to need that, 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 that um, someone to save us, man. All right, so the first scripture I want to get is um, Proverbs 20, as you see on the screen, and verse 24, it says, a man's, let's read about, um, King James Version side. He said, Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own will? And we said before, hey, the scripture calls us the worm Jacob. A worm is defenseless, man. Alright? A worm is defenseless. Right? Even the, even a, a hands. You know what I mean? Is he, is um detrimental to, to a worm. Because a worm doesn't have any defense. And that is us, man. Right, the only difference we have is Yahweh, or Yahweh Shai. Right? And we cast them out. But no, we as men of the Lord, you know, uh, we've been privileged to come back to this truth. You know what I mean? We, we're seeking mercy, right? Through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You understand? So, you know, there's nothing of our will what we can do to really save ourselves, man. All right, that, 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 that's just the point in that scripture. The next scripture I want to get is Ecclesiastes 5 of the Apocrypha, verse 2. All right, um, I was going to start at verse 1 because you, you know, in a time of famine, as you said before, no matter how you hold up food, you know, that now will save him because the only one that saves and he's a how boy, shame, how shy. The same one will bring the catastrophe, is the same one that can save him. And that's what we need to put with trust. And we need to have faith that, look, the Lord is going to save us, man. All right? 
See, that's, that's a very key and important um, thing, which is faith. It says, set thy heart, um, set thy heart upon, uh, verse Ecclesiasticus um, 5 and verse 5. All right. It says, set thy heart upon thy goods, thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind. And um, this, is, this is what it says. So follow not thine own mind. And thy strength. Alright. Because your strength is nothing man. Alright. Your strength is nothing. See? Um, it's like I just distracted for a minute. Um, okay. So, so yeah. Your strength is nothing. Okay. Um, it says, follow not thine own mind and thy strength, right? To walk in the ways of thine heart. And the scripture read before, so what? Um, man's goings of the Lord, who can a man then understand his own ways? The scripture says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Which go back to the Hebrew word, lahab, you know, which means mind. So you trust in the way in the Lord with all your mind, all your heart. You know what I mean? See me? Which is... Um, believing you know and having faith and he will direct thy path according to the scriptures All right verse 3 says say not who shall control me for my works All right for the Lord will surely avenge thy pride man saying so we're not supposed to be even complacent thinking that we are going to save ourselves and thinking that if we do something like out of the norm you know what I mean? We are the ones that making things happen, right? Are we, there is no repercussion for our actions. You know what I mean? That's, that's pride. And the scripture said, the Lord will surely um, revenge thy pride. You know what I mean? You know, so we need to be in the mindset we are in. You know, it, 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 is, it is only depending on the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shaman, because we are servants. You know, there's nothing we can do of ourselves unless our master come and take us out of this predicament that we're in. Right? Okay. Um, let's get the scripture because it's one of the main points also we want to get into. All right? So, in that time, reading the scripture you now, in, in, in that time we're going to have a lot of a lot of, um, what do you call it? All people is going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of destruction. See, let's just put it that way. There's going to be a lot of destruction, you know, especially when it come on to our people, man, because that's the key thing, to get rid of our people, all right? And our enemy, which is so-called white man, who is he saw he done according to the scriptures, you know what I mean, who had a perpetual hatred for us, right? His, his new society and all the things we're implementing now is geared towards getting that blessing, that blessing which was given unto Jacob, which is our forefather, right, which is handed down to unto us, the Hebrew Israelite. And that entails that, you know, we are going to be rulers of the earth and all of these nations are going to be subjected unto us. Now, what he says is thinking that if he get rid of us, right, then he can accomplish his goal. Right, in getting the blessing, right? However, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, had promised that unto us, man. Since so these men are taking it by force. And their, their aim is to kill out a lot of our people, man. So he can sit in a place, forget the blessing according to him, right? Sit in our spot, basically. You know, saying? So this man will come down and us as calling to the scripture, having great wrath. Revelation 12 and 12. You know what I mean? Sin. So um, Isaiah 51 and verse 12 when, this, when, when those things are happening Just remember these scriptures man Isaiah 51 verse 12 Even I I even I am he that comforted you Right Who art thou That thou shouldest be afraid of a man That shall die Alright Sin. Because look <laughs> He shall die like any other man you know, Esau dies like any other man. The, the Rothschild, the Rockefeller, all of these banking elites were 
control the whole world right now. They're dying out, man. See? So are you going to afraid of a, afraid of a man? You know what I mean? Which is not a matter. See? But there's a power which is on our side, which is immortal, man. Right? Which is going to bring down this man because guess what? This man is now built up to a, a level where only the Lord Yahweh, where Yahweh Shai can take him down. You understand? Know um, continuing. Um, and of the Son of Man, which shall be made as a grass. Right? And forget this, the Lord thy Maker, that that had stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth. All right? And as feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor. All right? If ye were ready to destroy, and where is the fury of the, of the um, oppressor? You see, because look, you fear daily because what this man can do, as I said before, this man has been raised up to a limit, you know, that's only the Lord can take him down. Because as the scripture say in um, Romans 9, that for the same reason he had raised up fear. So that his name can be declared throughout the heavens. Right? So this is the same thing here, man, where Esau has been raised up because he's the modern day fear. Right? Um, America is that modern day Egypt. You know what I mean? Which, um, you know, in Egypt, our people was held captive. It's the same thing in America, man. All right? So... That's the same thing, man, right? Uh, going on to verse 14, said, The captives exiled, exiled, um, exiled, he is not that he may be loose, and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread should fail, all right? So, we are the ones, man, are the captives, right? We are being exiled from our land, right? And we hasten to be loose out of this pit, then the pit go back to our um, system. You know what I mean? So we want to get out of this wicked system, man. But it's the thing, man. Only the Lord, Yahweh Bashi Meoshai, can take us out. And that is what we need. We need to cast off all of this madness, this Christianity, all of these doctrine which is behind it to us by our slave masters. All right? Because Israel, you know what I mean, is a whole different thing, man. All right? All of these things go contrary to our beliefs. And the more we take on these things to us, is the more we die, man. All right? It says, um... Let's get another scripture. This is Jeremiah 42, 1 verse 11. It said, Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, right? Because this society right now is Babylon. America is Babylon also. Because America is carrying out, um, these various spirits, man, of Haitians, right? Because the scripture says, There is nothing new under the sun. And the reason why it's called Babylon, the Hebrew word um, is go back to um, Babal, which means confusion, all right? And in America is the is um, trust me, it speaks for itself, man. Transgender, transvestite, um, a child can choose whatever gender he want from a tender age. You know what I mean? The, the laws, you know what I mean? There's it's, there's utter confusion, right? Babylon is just one melting pot. Everybody of all various language and you know do as though be a, you know there's no laws. Which are which which govern righteousness or which 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 makes sense in America, man. All right. Do what you will, and that's confusion. So be not afraid of Babylon. Right. We're speaking about Asian Babylon, but you know, as you say, America is still in, in the same spirit. Of whom ye are afraid? Be not afraid of him, say the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you out of his hands all right saying so we're not supposed to be afraid man we're not supposed to be afraid okay we're not supposed to be afraid of, uh, of babylon right we're not supposed to be afraid of Isa and what he can do all right so and i show mercy unto you that ye may have mercy upon you right and cause you to return unto your own land which you know speaking about another time um the Babylonian captivity. Alright. Um, there's a scripture. Which I want to get. This is. Alright. Let's get it this way. Four close out. That's one. Final scripture. Because look. The Lord is coming man. 
All right? All right? So this is um Matthew 24, 28, Slaki and verse 18. And Yahushai came and spake unto 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 them, saying, All the power is given, all power is given unto unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Right? And the baptism is of this word, it's not the water, it's of this word, man. And that's why at the start of the video we say we are this is for the elect and that's why we do these videos you know so the elect can come and get purified through the word you know what i mean simply say how oh, shall a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed to the words of yahweh bashi me shai for the power of scripture that's how you cleanse your ways not dipping in water man all right um verse 20 said teaching them to observe all the things whatsoever i commanded you Right, so as long as we hold fast to these things, man, we'll be all right. As um, along with faith, believing, right, and faith is a gift. Not everybody is gonna have faith, man. We just pray the Lord, how about Shema Shai? Faith is on our side, right? And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. This is the key part, man. Say, lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. So. The Lord Yahweh Shemiah is with us even now at this specific time. Though we can't see him, he's with us, man. Alright? See, now that's, that's, that's a great note for in this lesson, man. The Lord is with us always. Still with us. In spirit. In the words of these scriptures. Right? In brothers. You know? Until the end, man. Scriptures say, he that keep it. Um, my words until the end. You know what I mean? Him will I give, um, basically, uh, you're going to partake in the kingdom. Right? Just quoting the scripture off at the top of my head. Right? Seeing? So, with that one, say, call a lolly, how about shimmy, how shy, about shimmy, kakodash, they were honest into the, unto the elders and apostles of great men's stone. Shalom to you, brothers, and I always, and the Bible is preaching, teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.